Hi, welcome back to the caravan and us. Uh, back up the caravan, um, we're back from three nights in Kendall at the uh, camping and caravanning club site. Really nice site, great location, fantastic, literally three quarters of a mile outside Kendall. It was a very, very wet weekend, however. It rained from us getting there on Friday afternoon right through until late Saturday evening. Uh, thankfully, the weather yesterday, being Sunday and also this morning, was fantastic, so we made the best of it. I was going to do a video whilst I was away on how I levelled the caravan, uh, but the weather really was torrential rain, so that didn't get done. Um, we're back obviously at the storage yard now, so I'm just going to show you, well, what I have in my toolbox really. Um, it's all I could think of doing whilst it's raining now. Um, in Leeds it's, uh, well, it's not throwing it down, but it's not brilliant. So I'll uh, go through what I've got in the, uh, in my toolbox. So this is a toolbox, so I suppose first things first is the top compartment. Uh, in here I've got uh, screws, various screws, they all uh, are good for the caravan, some are longer than the others and that is if you're going in the edge of the wood uh, and not through the wood, all the others are just short enough so they don't protrude through any of the wood. Uh, I've got some uh, wire crimp connectors, uh, some loop connectors. Uh, this side I've got batteries, again some longer screws, two fridge door opening things, whatever you call them. Uh, I've got some coax connectors, dust caps and just some small grommets. And I've also got these dust caps um, which are set to 36 PSI, uh, which is the tyre pressure for our caravan. So let's have a look inside. In the top, we've got long Phillips screwdriver. Uh, we've got one of the short stubby screwdrivers with all the different uh, ends to go in. I've got spirit level uh, which I don't use. Uh, I've got a flat ended screwdriver, um, a pen, <laughs> I've got a uh, craft knife and then we've got some more screws. We've got screw cap covers, uh, door retainers, and their uh, awning rail hoops and guy line uh, tensioners and guy line hoops as well. Uh, we've got some couple of vents um, just in case. We've got some spare bulbs, however, they are the LED ones which I don't really use now. Uh, another vent, and we've got trim tools um, which are great. I've used them. A couple of times and that end there uh, no longer works but I suppose the old adage you get what you pay for they were literally a couple of quid off eBay um, which I suppose they did the job for a couple of times and that was about it to be perfectly honest uh, inside the box uh, I've got gaffer tape uh, well no it's not gaffer tape actually it's gorilla tape I've got clear and black. Uh, I've got uh, the spare spring uh, joiners I suppose you call them for uh, the camper poles on the awning. Uh, I've got some aerial mast uh, fittings which you can clip it, stick these to the side of the caravan and there's another one uh, and you just clamp some, uh, some brackets to it and put the pole through, the uh, aerial pole. Uh, some crimp connectors, cable strippers, um, gloves, always best to have some gloves, uh, again crimp connectors various ones, 
Uh, very inexpensive. I'm not sure. I think there might have been six quid, I think, from uh, Alfred's. Uh, I've got the Camper Limpet Hole Punch. Brilliant, but I'll do a separate video on that one. I've got some Camper Snap Eyelets, uh, which you can really use for whatever you need to put some eyelets in, really. But they're very good. Uh, those, I'll come there. Uh, for the Thetford Toilet and the Electric Flush, uh, we had a thing a while back uh, where the the um, the circuit board, when when you push the the big blue button there, uh, the circuit board used to fall away from inside. Now to get at it, you have to take these off the top of the toilet, um, and the first one that I took off, it ripped all the. Uh, decals off the sides uh, off the backing so the silver cover came off uh, and it, it was well it was unusable uh, so I bought two of these uh, well I actually bought three but uh, two were spare just in case it kept for it carried on falling off and uh, I needed to use it but lo and behold the next time it happened I just peeled it off it didn't uh, need to do anything I've got a bit of uh, just a bit of cable really that's what's left over from the solar panel uh, I've got some Gorilla Glue uh, I've got a hacksaw uh, I've got an adjustable if I can get that off adjustable spanner uh, that actually fits the gas as well so when I take the gas off I can use that I was going to get a gas spanner but I thought it's pointless getting a gas spanner which is only going to be used once in a blue moon when I change the uh, the gas over, um, got a tape measure, uh, got a multimeter, uh, just use it for testing various things as you do with them. And I've also got a damp tester, um, but that's actually at home. I've got some two-sided Velcro, uh, so if you ever just ever need any. Um, I've got these which are just little fasten, fasteners uh, which are made out of a bit of 25mm uh, pipe and some uh, bungee cord uh, what else? Oh, we've got window wise scratch remover for the acrylic windows by Fenix very very good indeed I have to say um, got some spare batteries I can't actually remember what they fit um, but I'm sure they're going to something uh, we've got some seal lubricant Thetford uh, just for the seal on the uh, Thetford cassettes I've got a spare uh, fresh water container lid I've got some more spring connectors for camper poles they're smaller ones and we've got batteries, uh, AA, AAA batteries, you just never know. I've got some sandpaper. Whoops, stop going over about. I've got a push lock, uh, just a spare, just in case. More bulbs, uh, spare 9 volt battery. I suppose it is a spare, but it's the Alco Hitch uh, uh, jockey wheel retaining screw, which I am going to replace at one point. Bungee cord. Some more push locks. Bulb and fuse kit. some small screwdrivers and electrical connectors uh, there's all sorts of the push push type uh, also there's a 12 volt cigarette lighter connector in there hey <laughs> well that's it i know that was a very very quick video uh it's taken me longer to get everything back into the toolbox than it did to get it out and film it uh, it really has and I've had to leave some things out I just can't get everything back in still it just shows carry too much simple as that 
I know it, it's just a very straightforward video. Right? That's what we keep in in the toolbox. Well, no, I'm saying we. That's a royal we. I keep them in. Um, I think Diana, every time we open it, she she cringes. Um, or every time I buy something else for it, she cringes. Um, but yeah, that's great. We've had a fantastic weekend. Hope everybody else has, uh, whether you've been away or not. If you've been away, hope you stayed dry. If you stayed at home, indeed, I still hope you stayed dry. Uh, we didn't stay dry on Saturday. We were wet through. Um, but all in all, fantastic weekend. Great. Speak to you all soon. Bye.